Hey, welcome in. Today I'll be introducing to you guys the new M55 RGB gaming mouse by Corsair. Now this just might be one of the best budget gaming mouse that you can get this year in 2019. Now before we start talking about the product, I just want to thank Corsair for sponsoring me in this video as they did send me that M55 mouse over here to review. Now if you are new to my channel, my name is Harji and I make videos on PC tech and gaming, so consider subscribing if you want to see more of that type of content. So for 40 US dollars, which I consider more on the higher end of a budget gaming mouse, you are getting almost a full plastic ambidextrous body. The M55 RGB is a quality built plug and play mouse that feels solid, performs well, and doesn't break the bank. Now personally, even as a right handed user, I love ambidextrous mice because I like the feel of the symmetry. It comes with an attached braided USB cable and 8 fully programmable buttons using Omron switches. The M55 has a matte black top surface that has almost a rough, slight sandpaper feel to it when you first open it. And I don't mean that in a bad way. The reason why the texture on the surface is slightly rough is because it was meant to grip under your palms without the use of rubber that you find on higher end models like the Corsair Nightsaur Gaming Mouse. And I do think over time it will start to smooth out more as you use it. On both sides of the mouse you have your forwards and backwards bun with a textured grip designed into the plastic. On the bottom, you have three sliding pads for smooth contact as well as the optical sensor that goes up to 12,400 dpi. And of course, the dpi toggle button is on top right behind the scroll wheel. Finally, the last of the physical specs, the mouse is super light and weighs in only at 86 grams. And as I mentioned before, this is an ambidextrous mouse, so it's for both left and right handed users. Now let's jump into the IQ software and take a quick look at what options are available to us when we purchase this mouse. Now first off, we have the Actions tab, which as you can see, there are 8 programmable buttons for macro and also allowing you to set everything for a left or right handed use. Next up we have the Lighting Effect, which there is only one customizable RGB zone, and that's the Corsair logo back where your palm sits. The mouse comes with several different effects such as pulse, shift, static, solid, gradient, rainbow wave, etc. Now you can also change the speed on the lights as well as the direction on some of the options. Now the cool thing about some of these effects is that it syncs with your other Corsair peripherals in terms of lighting. For example, I have the K70 RGB keyboard which when I pick the rainbow wave effect, it flows from the left side of the keyboard and ends with the right, which is pretty neat. Then we have the DPI tab, which allows you to toggle up to 5 different modes in the selected DPI profile that you pick. When you pick one of and any of these preset profiles, there are 5 different modes in each of them, and by default only 3 of them are initially on, meaning you can only toggle between 3. Now if you want to have more toggling options, go ahead and just hit these switches here. So now you can toggle up to 5. And when you look at your mouse, you have an LED notifier behind the scroll wheel that will tell you which DPI mode you are currently set to by changing the colors to differentiate between them. You can also ignore the sniper mode here because this mouse does not have a sniper button like the Corsair Night Sword or the M65. Moving on to the performance tab. Not much here, just enhanced pointer precision and pointer speed. And here's a quick sound test on the M55 gaming mouse. Okay, so the last topic that I want to talk about in this video today is the topic of hand size versus the gaming mouse or the computer mouse, desktop mouse that you want to get. Um, I want to talk about this because this is one of the more common questions and comments that I get in my videos and also when people ask me in person which brand of mouse or which mouse do you think I should get if my hands are small or if my hands are large, etc, etc. And I feel like at this point, based on my observations and experience, this is this correlation is no longer valid to me. I'm throwing this out the window based on what I've seen. I've seen so many counterexamples to the saying of if you have big hands, you should get a bigger mouse. If you have small hands, you should get a smaller mouse. I don't think this is valid anymore. And I'm going to give you an example, something that I have observed in my workspace. So I have two coworkers who are very tall. Okay, I'm five foot eight. 
One of my coworkers is six foot one, the other one is six foot three. And these are tall dudes and tall dudes have much bigger hands. So like if I were to put my hands up to theirs, like their hands would be like this, okay? They have big hands. And at work, majority of the ecosystem that we, of our workstations, we work off of an Apple Mac um, system. So we have Apple keyboards, we have Apple mouse peripherals. And if you guys don't know, the Apple mouse is like very slim, thin, and short in terms of its dimensions. And when I'm when, when I was sitting in one of the uh, one of the guy's offices and watching them work, I was observing his workspace. And this is a tall dude, six foot three, using with big hands, using a small little Apple Mac mouse. And I'm just thinking, like, man. Like, do you want a bigger mouse? Like, is, or is that what you prefer? Because he'll work off that all day long. And in my head, it's just like, if a bigger guy should have a bigger bigger mouse than that. And you know, it, but it's what he considers the most comfortable for him. That's what he prefers and he likes it. So this is why I can no longer tell people that big hands have to use bigger mouse, small hands have to use smaller mouse. That's, that's no longer true anymore. Okay, so the best way going forward when advising people to pick certain brands or mouse for them is literally just to find the mouse that you like uh, aesthetically, um, the brand that you like and the performance and functionalities that you're looking for in a mouse. Just buy that or pick one up and try it out for yourself because the only way to really know is how it fits in your hand regardless of the size because, you know, um, that's what's most important. And I think that will be the most accurate determination in whether uh, a mouse is a good fit for your hand. All right, so that is it for the Corsair M55 RGB gaming mouse. Let me know in the comments down below what you thought of the video. If this is a mouse that you would like to pick up and try, thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And thank you so much for watching my content. I really appreciate your time. And as always, I will catch you in the next one. Peace.